the Supreme Court on Friday ordered status quo on the resignation and disqualification of Karnataka rebel MLAs. The court said it will first decide whether a constitutional court can issue direction to Speaker to decide on resignations. Earlier, the rebel MLAs had sought contempt proceedings against the Speaker for not deciding on their resignation despite court deadline. Appearing for the Speaker, senior lawyer Abhishek Manu Singhvi argued that court cannot direct Speaker to decide on disqualification proceedings in a particular manner and within a time frame. So yesterday's deadline which we respectfully explained through the Speaker's affidavit to the Chief Justice Court and all the learned three judges, is not a deadline to be viewed in the way in which the petitioners were saying. That deadline doesn't stand anymore. Secondly, there is no deadline operating on the Speaker today. Even as he got a breather from the Supreme Court, Karnataka Chief Minister H.D. Kumar Swami on Friday said that he is ready to prove majority of his government on the floor of the House. On the first day of the Assembly session, amid the week-long political crisis, the Chief Minister said that he is ready for a floor test whenever the Speaker wants. BJP has claimed that the MLA's resignation, Congress JDS government has lost its majority and should go. It's an unusual train that a part Chennai was waiting for. The first train carrying water from Jolarpet in Velo district to drought hit Chennai reached the city today. The state government has announced that it will bring water from Velour by rail wagons to Chennai. The shortage has forced some schools to shut, companies to ask employees to work from home and hotels to ration water for guests. The Uttar Pradesh State Law Commission has proposed a stringent law to deal with rising incidents of mob lynching. The law panel has recommended jail terms ranging from seven years to life imprisonment for assailants and up to three years for dereliction of duty by a police officer or district magistrate under whose watch this happens. The commission can only recommend a law and it's up to state governments to take it up. विधि आयोग ने इस विषय पर अध्ययन करके एक विस्तृत रिपोर्ट माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी को सौंपी है जिसमें कि इस प्रकार के अपराधियों को न केवल कड़ा दंड दिया जाए बल्कि इस प्रकार की की घटनाओं को रोकने के उपाय भी सुझाए गए हैं the Supreme Court on Friday struck down Maharashtra government's latest order, giving reservation to Maratha community retrospectively from 2014. The top court, however, refused to stay the 16% Maratha quota that has been announced by the Devendra Fadnavis government. The top court has issued a notice to the Maharashtra government in appeal challenging Bombay High Court verdict upholding the quota. Ideally, the peak income tax rate of 42.7% should come down over time, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said on Thursday in an interview to Hindustan Times, repeating and stressing the word ideally. The Finance Minister has said that the government will have to see when the timing is proper to bring it down. She added that the tax on the super-rich was driven by the need to part-raise resources for important and essential government expenditure. With rains on pause and a dust storm from Rajasthan hitting the capital, the pollution levels have spiked in Delhi by more than a double. Spike was driven by an increase in PM10 particles, which come from road dust, dried soil and sand. From a moderate level of 148 on Wednesday, the 24-hour average air quality index was recorded at 317, which is very poor on Thursday. The problem has been aggravated by a slowdown in monsoon activity. There has hardly been any rain since it was declared that the monsoon had arrived last week. No fences are high enough for a human cause. The Indian Army on Thursday handed over the body of a Pakistani boy that was found in a canal on the Indian side of the LOC. The boy had reportedly slipped into a canal on the Pakistani side of the LOC in Gilgit region and his body was landed on the Indian side. The army officials contacted their Pakistani counterparts and retrieved the body with the help of local administration. The dead body was finally handed over to Pakistan Army near village Dudgai. Seems like Tapsi is in no mood to let bygones be bygones as she now is taking an indirect jive at Kangana Ranaut and her sister Rangoli, asking Varun why he didn't write their names in his Twitter congratulating director Tushar Hirnandani on the teaser launch of Sanki Ankh. Grabbing the opportunity, Tapsi took to Twitter and wrote, and I quote, Are Varun, but you have not written our names. Why no appreciation for us? Why, why, why? Indian domestic airline Vistara now goes international. The domestic carrier recently announced that from the 6th of August, they will operate a daily flight to Singapore. More international destinations will be added to the list over the coming months.